Hello everyone, welcome back to Dinosaurs. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, observe observation on this dinosaur here. My Dinosaurus. As you see, he has changed color since the last time we saw him. I just noticed that right before I started recording. Um, he is age 2 now. Is hungry and has taken damage, and he has no. Uh, yeah, he's not happy. Uh, not too happy. Come on, dinosaur, come over here. Come on. Where's he going? I forgot to mow the lawn somewhere. What? P what one piece of grass? Come on. Let's go on an adventure. Or something. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, today, I was said I was going to hatch the Velociraptor egg, but I don't think I'm ready for a Velociraptor just yet. Um, just because I can't put him in the same cage as this guy. Because Velociraptors are carnivores, and they eat tiny dinosaurs like that tiny dinosaur up there. Um, so instead, I'm actually going to just cultivate a few more dinos down here. Um... Yeah, I, I think he teleports like a dog, because there's no way he climbed down a ladder. Uh, let's see here. Does he teleport? Yeah, he teleports. Yeah, don't die on me. Don't die on me. I'm trying to remember how to heal him. I think you just feed him. Is he hungry? Oh, he's full. He ate food. Um, I'm trying to remember if you're supposed to feed him, and then he heals. I think he might heal over time. Um, but we need to prepare more than just an area up probably need to move out of the ravine and I don't know how to build a house that looks good you know I gotta make a house that looks good or something um, we have a flat ish area out here um, and we have the native plant acacia and it's almost night time and I'll just have my dinosaur buddy follow me around he can eat whatever he wants um, do whatever he wants out here just have him follow me around. Probably pass out halfway. Uh, to our little adventure because he's gonna have to go to sleep. And me as a player doesn't have to go to sleep, so. You know. Uh, so we can make our base out of acacia wood. To be thematically appropriate, uh, with the whole acacia forest and stuff. Um, but we will put make this kind of area right here. Um, because this is not a I don't think this would be considered a temporary uh, little base or something. This wouldn't be temporary. And this is more of a... This would be temporary. I'd say. I'm trying to think here. What I'm trying to say here. This would probably be temporary. This little base of his would be temporary. And, um... Yeah, we can build ourselves a little base. A little easier. So, how is he feeling right now? He's getting there. He's healing up. His mood is 15. He only attack when hungry. Now you're going to eat out of your feeder. Come on. Eat out of your feeder. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, fine. You'll come out with me. Uh, <laughs> I don't really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so we need dirt. Really wish I had a pool of water down there that I could jump into, or an elevator system. But I don't think I have the resources for that. Got kind of ender pearls. Do we have dirt? Oh, we got tons. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I thought he went into the. If he went into the smeltery. It would be over. I would be really upset because he would be boiled down into nothing. I'm already upset that he. Jumped off the cliff. Uh, kind of reminds me of my royal, my own, my own, my own lizard that I have at home in real life. He uh, likes to jump. I don't know why, but he just enjoys jumping off of stuff. You gotta put him on. You hold him in your hands. Put him on your shoulder. Oh, I'm gonna jump. And he goes. Whoosh. I'm like, okay. That's just the way he likes to. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get some material. That's what I have in my inventory right here. I don't know why I brought iron bars. I mean, it's thematically appropriate because, you know, dinosaurs. 
chains and stuff. Stop eating my plants! Eat all my cr mm. Eat all my sugar cane. You're a dangerous man, you know that? Come on, hungry, hungry, hungry lizard. Come on. Come on, dinosaur. Some people are probably gonna claim in the comments, dinosaurs weren't actually lizards, so who cares? <laughs> Name literally stands for tree lizard. So I don't know. Scientists named it that, so we're gonna keep its name called a lizard. So well, here we are. Flattening out an area. We're gonna probably build our new base. I'll have to come up with the base design, probably off camera. Alright everybody, we're back, and um, here we are with the flattened out area. Pain in the butt flattening out this thing, because it's like, nothing's on the same level, and it's like, eh. Hmm, get me frustrated. I don't know if I want to claim this chunk, or the one right behind the pen. Uh, I should feel like it should be here, kind of in a centralized area. Um, but it would be a smaller house than I'm used to making. Um, uh, just because it's going to be... Because um, they don't make chunk-sized houses, but we have this thing here. I might actually do something about that. I might put like a staircase here. I don't know what... You know what? I'm going to do that. Um, inspiration has just sparked in my head. What if I did a chunk-sized house as normal, as I normally do? But, but, hear me out. We're going to make it natural. Not natural as in, like, it's made out of sticks and dirt and stuff. But, no, we're going to do it naturally. Um, a natural shape, right? Um, kind of melds into the environment. But obviously it has a big square, but it melds into the environment. Uh, steps and little things like that. Because, if we see here, we cut out a circle like this. Now I'm going to put that there because, you know me, do it like that. Right? And we're going to do this whole thing like that. It took me a while to figure out what I'm going to do, and I don't know what I'm going to do. So, if I can... Do you know about the skeletons? Found where they're coming from. Uh, I'm gonna put a block here for now. Uh, let's go up. It's gonna be a piece of material here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna make it meld into the thing. Still same chunk based buildings I I am used to. Not not to say on camera do, um, but something I've gotten used to making was chunk sized buildings. Um, they're big, yes, I will admit they are large and kind of hard to work with, especially if you're short on resources, but after a while you begin to realize I'm probably not that short on resources. So um, so it's almost half of it's going to be on this level, half of it will be on there. Um, as I said, it's going to be natural. Do we, do we mess up? We messed up. Alright, but whatever, that's fine. That's fine. It's not too hard, just put, move it over a little bit. Move it over, just a tad bit. I'm just gonna leave the cobblestone there. It's its original placement. And keep moving over, and there's our border, our base uh, border walls, so we can just build up, build out however we want from here, and continue on with that. Also off camera, I decided I had a bunch of plants in my inventory, so I thought, eh, throw them into the dinosaur pen, you know, like that. Yeah, it's probably going to, like, put some out here. Um, I thought it would look nice with some flowers and some plants. When we get prehistoric ones, I'm actually going to put some in there. Yes, uh, Pam's Harvest Craft 
uh, uh, weed, fl weed flowers makes it kind of hard to find those uh, poppies, so planter poppy. Uh, that's what the watering can does if you hold it down on grass, it will plant some of that. So off camera, I'm going to keep clearing this area out, and we'll be right back. Remember how in episode 2 or 3, I think it was 2, um, we didn't have enough uh, dirt? Nowadays we have too much of it. It's a little annoying, but we'll have to live with it. All right, everybody, we're back, and uh, see, the area's cleared out, and we have a ton of dirt. Um, so if you're like me, and you have a ton of dirt, we can easily uh, just go and compress it. Thanks to Extra Utilities, we can compress dirt. We had nine stacks of dirt. And let's go fix our little shovel. I think yeah, we can do that. There we go. Um, so what are we going to do now? Well, I'm going to plant down some acacia wood, some acacia wood planks in the holes, because I'm thinking we'll go for an acacia uh, look. Um, yeah, this may not be the new versions of Minecraft, but we should have the ability to craft acacia doors. Um, these are from the doors mod, and they're pretty pretty nifty little things they have a nice animation to them we'll show that real quick uh, after I'm done planting all the stuff yeah, we need more acacia wood uh, where are we gonna get all that hmm I wonder where um, but yeah this is a process yeah wood is a material I don't really like working with um, but I use it because it looks nice and I like making nice things I have an aesthetic and it's just how do I say it's not the best looking thing, but it's better than nothing. So I'll go get some wood. We'll probably continue next episode. Uh, I'll probably end the video here. Um, and next episode, we have part two of the house building process. And I'll also probably get more food. Um, and I don't think we'll finish the house next episode, but we'll get somewhere. And hopefully our dinosaur is fully grown. Uh, I don't know how long it takes for those things to grow up, for dinosaurs to grow up. I might be fully grown. I don't know. He might be fully grown at two, but I feel like he would be a little older um, than that to get to two. But, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, and we'll see you next time.